Hi everybody, welcome back to another video. So I thought I was going to be doing something quite unique today. So it has come to my attention that the Mini 2 um, has possibly a built-in safety feature. Now I actually figured this out while watching some other YouTubers uh, where they have sadly crashed their drones and lost them, which is by no means nice to see. But I was curious at what happens. So Obviously, as we know, um, or as I found out, I was actually going to be writing a guide with which one of the points I was going to make is to do with the LiPo batteries. So one little feature I have found of the LiPo batteries is simply the fact that um, they, they do slightly behave differently to what the lithium ion batteries do for the Mini 1. In terms of what tends to happen with these is the Mini 1 you will tend to have a nice gradual slope of battery depletion whereas these tend to sort of um, keep their charge for a fair bit longer um, under normal circumstances, normal flight circumstances but tend to really drop off once they get to that 20% mark. So I just thought to myself normally with the Mini 1 obviously when it was getting to norm normally sort of 0% um, or lower below 10% I would just land immediately but I still knew that I had a decent amount of time left whereas these quite frankly as you know this channel is quite famous for doing range tests um, and I've not had a huge amount of confidence in the Mini 2 purely because of that sudden battery depletion so I thought to myself right okay so we know how quick it does sort of deplete but let's put that into some sort of figures and let's see just how fast it depletes from 20% battery for when you first get that sort of battery warning message. But more importantly, this is what this test is to sort of see, is is 0% battery really zero? So unfortunately, there is absolutely countless amounts of wind today. So this has been a controlled test in a sort of controlled environment. Um, but as you can see in the video, we are battling some winds quite heavily. Um, even at ground level, so it's pretty bloody high. Um, so the drone has still had to work quite hard. So what I wanted to do is do a test to see when you hit that 20% battery, just how much flight time you have left. Now, of course, you can't, obviously, I have to factor in and a little disclaimer that, of course, I am, of you know, I'm flying this and it's hovering. It's not in full flight. But more importantly, it is still battling the wind. So the, the, the motors are still quite working hard. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you this footage and what we're going to do is we're going to see just how quick the battery depletes and if zero battery really is zero. So we're just picking this up at 20% battery. There we go. We've just got our low battery warning and to return to home. Of course, as I've already mentioned, I didn't actually go anywhere because the wind is way too high. So I decided to just... Uh, stick around flying at the property. So what I'm hoping to do is, once we get to a lower per battery percentage and when it tries to land at 10%, is to just keep throttling up um, and just see what happens at how long we can keep in the air. So, like I say, you know, it is quite important. I do understand that, you know, many people will say, well, you're not flying, you're not, put that in, you're not putting that much pressure on the drone. Um, but like I say, you know, I don't want to, I, I love doing videos for this channel, but there is absolutely no way I'm prepared to risk, <laughs> risk my drone um, for the sake of this, you know. But uh, at the end of the day, this is still an accurate test. You can see physically just how much the drone is moving around. And I'm, I'm not actually controlling that. That is just due to the wind and obviously the drone returning back to position. So... Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. So we're on to 15% battery already. So that was quite quick. Obviously there is a timer down at the bottom so you can see for yourself. Now, like I say, I'm not interested in doing battery tests as such, but I just thought it'd be really interesting to see what would happen in this sort of scenario and uh, just how long flight time in terms of hovering you do get from that 20% uh, battery. Incidentally, I might do a very similar one using the Mini 1 at some point, just to see. Well, just to test my own curiosities, really. I don't really think that's something that'll bother posting, but it is quite interesting. So, the most annoying beep in the world, or the most scary beep in the world, if uh, you come to hear this. 
the drone is battling quite hard to keep steady as you can see so incidentally quite cool what footage you might have seen in this video is the uh, DJI Osmo Pocket uh, that's what I use as my main vlogging camera and obviously the microphone that's in front of me um, so yeah interesting that uh, you can use the active track on the DJI Pocket Osmo Pocket you can use that active track to uh, just watch the drone really which is quite cool so there we go then two minutes flight time remaining eight percent battery and we are beeping like hell i'm annoying all the people that are around me but i don't care because i'm doing this test for you guys so let's see what happens we're getting that critical low battery now obviously at this point the drone is wanting to sort of land um, and telling me to sort of uh, come home but I'm not as you know. I'm sticking with it. There we go, 6% battery. 1 minute 20 remaining. 5% battery. There we go, we've got the low battery landing, critical low battery. It wants to land in its current location. So I'm not going to click confirm, I'm just going to let it count down. Fourth landing in progress. Now you can see I'm constantly going to throttle up, keeping in line with the uh, camera as best as possible. And I'm just not going to let it land. So we've got 40 still trying to land and I'm still stopping it. It does want to land quite quickly actually. You do really need to keep throttling up. 2%, 20 seconds. A bit distortion from the camera there. And if that's part of the low battery. 1%. 4, 3, 1. Right, we're on zero. So zero percent battery. And I'm still throttling up to keep the drone in the air. So it's still going, so we're on 0% battery and it's still going. Still trying to land. Still going, so 0% battery. Still got that uh, critical low battery aircraft landing automatically. Warning. Going down, up, oh, back up again. I think this is a really interesting test just how far and how long we have. So if you're looking at the countdown, down at the bottom, up, oh, and that's the end of it. So, it turns out that when you get to 0% battery on the DJI Mini 2, According to my test there and then, you still have a minute worth of flight time left. So it seems to me like all is actually not lost. So if you do find yourself in that critical condition where you are desperately trying to fly home, um, and I found myself really, really, really panicking um, in the past. And of course, you know, when, when the battery gets to sort of below 20% or especially sort of 5 5% when it starts to land automatically. It seems you've actually got a little bit of time left before the drone actually forces landing. And I'm mean, obviously, by the way, when it did eventually land after that additional minute, um, after 0%, I was still throttling up. There's just nothing I could do about it. It was landing. But it just shows that even once you get to 0%, the drone isn't actually going to fall out of the sky. In fact, so much so that um, once it had actually landed, the drone, I, I remained powered on just to see how long it would last. And it's actually, at the time of recording this video, it's still powered up. Very strange. So I think that's a really, really cool little feature um, and just worthwhile to note. So obviously, you know, if you do end up in a really dangerous situation where you have to ditch your drone, by dangerous I don't mean like you're about to kill somebody, dangerous as in losing your drone, because that's dangerous to me because we all want to keep our drones. I think that's a really, really good piece of um, sort of built-in safety measure there by DJI. It seems that once it actually gets to zero, you've actually still got some juice left. Uh, and then, of course, 
you know, even though it's down to zero, if you did have to ditch anywhere, it seems like you're still going to be able to hit that uh, find my drone feature. So obviously you can locate your drone, which is really, really cool, really. So yeah, top trumps the DJI on that one. And uh, little disclaimer, I do not in any way condone anybody testing out this in the real world where they could lose their drone. Just don't try it. Try and get back home or land before you get to sort of 20%, um, definitely 10%, and just, this is a nice little safety margin that you have, but just forget you've got it, don't use it, because I don't want anybody to come unstuck and end up crashing their drone into something. So, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget I've done a whole host of videos on the DJI Mini 2 and quite a few comparisons with the Mini 1. Please, please don't forget to go check them out. There will be a card above my head right now. Um, you can just click that and go to them. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this video. It really is appreciated. And see you again soon.